Nurturing Good Manners in Children, a Guide for Parents. Raising children with good manners is about more than teaching them to say please and thank you. It's about fostering empathy, respect, and social skills that will serve them throughout their lives. Instilling these qualities starts early and requires consistency, patience, and modeling of the behaviors we want to see in our children. Here's a guide on how to raise kids with good manners that stick. 1. Start early with basic courtesies. Good manners are best cultivated from a young age, as children are highly receptive to learning social norms. Begin with the basics like please, thank you, excuse me, and sorry. Explain why these words matter. For example, saying please shows respect for others, and thank you shows appreciation. Make these words part of your child's daily vocabulary by using them consistently yourself, so your child picks them up naturally. 2. Be a role model. Children are highly observant and learn much of their behavior by watching adults, especially their parents. Demonstrate the manners you expect from them. Show them how to greet people politely, speak with respect, and listen attentively when others speak. Use courteous language in your everyday interactions, even when speaking with family members. By modeling respect, empathy, and gratitude, you show your children what good manners look like in practice. 3. Teach empathy and respect. Good manners go beyond surface-level politeness, they are rooted in empathy and respect for others. Teach your children to consider how their actions affect those around them. Encourage them to imagine themselves in others' shoes to help develop empathy. For example, if your child interrupts a conversation, explain that everyone deserves a chance to speak. Gradually, children learn that good manners are about respecting others' feelings and creating harmonious relationships. 4. Reinforce table manners. Meals are an excellent opportunity to teach children about good manners. Teach your children to chew with their mouths closed, avoid reaching over others, and use polite language at the table. Make family meals a regular occasion to practice these skills. Patience is key, especially with younger children, who may forget these rules at times. Instead of scolding, gently remind them of the appropriate behavior. Over time, these habits will become second nature. 5. Encourage patience and taking turns. Patience is an essential aspect of good manners, whether it's waiting their turn to speak or letting others go first. Teach children to wait calmly without interrupting, especially during conversations. For instance, if they want to say something while you're speaking with someone else, ask them to wait politely until you're finished. Games, too, are an excellent way to reinforce the importance of taking turns, sharing, and waiting patiently. 6. Practice Respectful Communication Respectful communication is fundamental to good manners. Teach your child to speak politely to others, even when they disagree. Emphasize the importance of using kind words, tone, and body language. Encourage them to avoid negative language, name-calling, or hurtful words. Helping children understand the power of respectful communication enables them to navigate social situations more effectively and reduces conflicts with peers. 7. Reinforce the value of gratitude. Children who understand the value of gratitude tend to display good manners more naturally. Teach your child to appreciate what they have and to express thanks not only for material gifts, but also for kindness and acts of generosity from others. Reinforcing gratitude can be done by involving them in small acts of giving back, such as writing thank you notes, helping others, or participating in community activities. Children who learn gratitude develop a positive outlook and are more likely to be respectful in their interactions. 8. Correct gently and praise positively. Positive reinforcement is powerful when teaching manners. Rather than focusing on what a child did wrong, acknowledge the times they exhibit good manners. Praise them when they say, thank you, or when they show patience. This reinforces the behavior you want to encourage. When corrections are necessary, do so gently, explaining why a behavior was inappropriate and offering alternatives. For example, instead of saying, don't interrupt, try, please wait until I'm finished speaking, and then it's your turn. 9. Set clear expectations. Children need to know what is expected of them to develop good manners effectively. 
Establish clear guidelines for behavior at home, in public, and at social gatherings. For instance, explain that it's polite to greet guests and offer a smile or a handshake. When preparing for outings, remind them about specific behaviors, like not speaking loudly in certain settings. Reiterating these expectations regularly will help children internalize them. 10. Be patient and consistent. Teaching manners is an ongoing process that requires patience and consistency. Children will make mistakes and may forget the lessons at times, especially when they're young. Maintain a calm approach and don't expect perfection right away. Consistency is crucial, if a certain behavior is deemed impolite at home, it should be discouraged outside as well. With time and reinforcement, children will learn the social skills that will serve them well. Conclusion Raising children with good manners is a rewarding yet challenging process that involves teaching respect, patience, gratitude, and empathy. By modeling the behavior you want to see, setting clear expectations, and reinforcing positive actions, you provide a strong foundation for your child to grow into a well-mannered, considerate adult. It takes time and consistency, but the effort invested in instilling good manners will pay off leading to positive relationships and respectful interactions throughout their lives.